baseball is back and we will have coverage on the Yes Network throughout the course of spring training and of course the regular season. Now guys, I know you spent a lot of time talking about what the Yankees need to do to get this roster in order and how busy Brian Cashman is going to be. It's going to be a free agent frenzy like we've never seen before. And while it's exciting to talk about potential free agents or trades that could be made, something to consider in all of this. The front office and coaches have not been able to have any contact with players on that 40-man roster since this lockout went into place. So one of the things that they're going to have to do is reach out to those players and make sure the guys are healthy. Make sure guys that they're expecting to play big roles coming in have no issues. They're not blindsided by anything. And then they're going to need to evaluate where they are physically. And although they haven't been able to have direct contact in speaking to some of the coaches they have said through social media they've been able to follow some of these off-season routines we all see Araldis Chapman on Instagram Jamison Tyone has been throwing it looks as though he's recovered from that ankle surgery and I can tell you a lot of guys have been down here in Tampa for quite some time now Aaron Judge had been working out at a local college he started seeing live pitching as has DJ LeMahieu Gio Urshela is here. Glaber Torres is here. He's been taking reps at both second base and shortstop. So it seems as though guys are going to be able to come in, get here quickly, in pretty good shape. But that's an evaluation that's going to need to happen early in camp. What I'm very interested in is how they handle the pitchers. We know there's a shortened season in 2020 due to COVID. Last year, they really eased pitchers into it because of that shortened season. And now for the third year in a row, they're going to have to be extremely careful with their arms as they ease them into the season. Now, a couple of weeks ago, the Yankees had a mini camp of sorts at their minor league complex for their top prospects, where Yankees director of pitching Sam Breen was. And in speaking to him, I asked him realistically, how built up do you think these pitchers could be, starters in particular, if there's only about a four week spring training? And he said they're looking at about 60 to 65 pitches to do it safely so that to me says the Yankees are going to need an awful lot of arms early in the season but it's not just the Yankees that's going to be a league-wide thing so there could be uh, some opportunity for some other guys there and then you also consider the fact that this Yankees coaching staff looks very different than it did a season ago so there are some new guys like hitting coach Dylan Lawson who just cannot wait to get started I spoke to him at length about what he's been doing as he waits for these two sides to finally come to an agreement and he said it's been all about the preparation watching videos of not only guys that are on the Yankees that he's going to be instructing but also preparing opponents making sure that he has all his ducks in a row so when things get going he will be ready to go. It should be an exciting four weeks until we get to opening day when we see the Yankees take on the Red Sox. That obviously is circled on a lot of people's calendars right now. But I can tell you this, according to a, to a source, uh, the truck in the Bronx has finally been packed. It's heading down here to Tampa. Aaron Boone is not here yet, but he tells me he will be here tomorrow. Uh, baseball is back and I can't wait to cover it. I will be here all spring. Guys, I was going to fly north for the show, but you know how much I hate the cold weather, so I'll see you opening day.